Okay, so this is uh, solar panel update number four, I believe. Uh, this one is for April, May, and June of uh, 2023. So real quick, we'll just look at how much solar we generated, how much we used, uh, what it's gonna, what's it cost us, okay? So first thing we have here is kilowatt hours produced. So this number right here is the number of kilowatt hours that our solar panels produced. So in April, we produced uh, 12.03 in May, 11.30 and in June we produced 1,312 kilowatt hours. Okay, so that again is the total number of kilowatt hours produced by our solar panels. Okay, kilowatt hours sent to, these are the number, this number is how much we sent to the power company. Okay, so our solar panels are hooked up to the grid, so when we're not using the electricity, it goes to the grid. So in April, we sent 973 kilowatt hours. In May, we sent 100, or 807 kilowatt hours. And in June, we sent 811 kilowatt hours to the power company, okay? And then the next one is kilowatt hours received. This is how much money, or how much kilowatt hours we've received from the power company. So at night when our solar panels are not generating electricity and our air conditioners running and everything else that our fans or whatever else we got on at night is drawing electricity from the power company that's being sent to us. So in April we drew 305 kilowatt hours. In May we drew 614 kilowatt hours and then in June we drew 1,000 11 kilowatt hours. So at the end of June, we had some hot weather where it got up near 100. So the air conditioner was working quite a bit even at night. Okay, so that's why we drew so much. All right. So the other one is the last one here is used. This is what we used before we sent it to the power company. So if our solar panels are generating electricity and we're using electricity, it will pull from the panels first and then it'll pull from the grid if we need extra power or um, if the powers are at night, again, when they're not working. So um, during the daytime, this is when we use directly from the solar panels, okay? So we drew 230 kilowatt hours from the panels before we sent it to the electric company. So if you take this number and this number, it equals this number. Okay. In May, we drew or used two, uh, 323 and plus that would give us our 1130. And in June, we used 501 plus our 811 would give us 1312. So in April, we used a total of 535 kilowatt hours, both from the grid and from our solar panels. In May, we used 937 kilowatt hours, and then in June, we used 1,512 kilowatt hours total. Um, 501 from our panels and 10, 11 from the grid, okay? So what's it cost us, all right? If we were strictly on paying monthly our bill, this, April would have cost us $16.70, but we're on the 12 month average program, so we our electric bill is still $76. Um, in May, we would have paid $11.28, but our 12 month average, we paid $63. And then in June, which was a high month, we would have paid $47.59 but our monthly average is $44, okay? So um, we installed our solar panels in August, so we only got a partial month for August, but in September will be one full year on solar panels. Um, so whatever number we have here in August will pretty much be our average solar panel or uh, energy cost for the next 12 months okay so 
um, where that settles at. It'll probably settle someplace around 30 or $35, I'm thinking, um, someplace in that ballpark. So, so there you go. That is the solar panel update for April, May, and June 2023. And like I said, if we didn't pay the monthly thing, it would be $16.70 and $11.28 and $47.59. When we started last year, the average monthly payment was $149. And um, I heard recently where they're going to increase it by 10%. So that means that the electric bill will be going up $15. Um, if I was on the old, still drawing all of my electricity from the, the power company. So my, my bill will probably only go up a couple of dollars. So is it worth it? Um, so far, I think it is worth it. So, um, we'll see how it works out in the long run, but, um, in again in September when I do my next three month in July August and September I will have all the uh, yearly data and I'll I'll compare all the yearly data um, on I'll either do it on that one or maybe I'll do a separate one I'll do the three months and then I'll do a separate one to compare all the yearly data how it compared over one year so look forward to those in the future.